Hey guys, I'm the DJ. Welcome back to another exciting episode of, well, this. Oh, I didn't mean to click Fankel off, so I guess I have to go to Fankel. Oh, okay, I was gonna go back to the detention center. You're all basically searching for clues. Hey, you there! This is a crime scene, pal, no trespassing! Um, sorry, don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no, Phoenix Wright. How can anyone mistake me for Larry? Ah, uh, guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. And Butts Guy, he was a killer, and you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Um, right, and you were... Detective Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> um, Gumshoe, was it? Nick Gumshoe? Right. At your service. Hang on! Not Detective Gumshoe to you, pal! Anyway, get the name right. Don't go call me Dick! Hey, Dick, get over here! <laughs> yes, sir. Be right there. <laughs> hey, Dick, hey, get over here. <laughs> um, anyway. <clears throat> You're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you'd better do it quick. Woo! He thinks I'm my Thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. We're gonna have to talk, and I do have to. Uh... Oh, oh, uh, I believe I have to present the uh, thing. I was wondering, did you see Maya's face cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. Do you think you can give that back? Sure. I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh oh, he's on to me. Tell me straight. Matter. Oh, no, well, just you know, detective. No, oh, I hope not, pal. A cell phone has a lot of numbers on it. Cell phones, all this little speed is some spicy secrets. Uh, they're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal, I checked all the numbers and memory. Impressive, you're quite the detective. Uh huh. Oh, you can't have the phone back. There weren't any suspicious call records in there after all. Seems you didn't enough conversation. My cell phone. Hold a conversation between the chief and Maya. Yeah, that is very useful. Now we got another piece of evidence. Um, I'm not gonna move yet. I think I might want to examine the scene. Mia's favorite part of the plant. I remember it had this bizarre name no one could ever remember. Cordial Stricto. Or Cordial Stricto, pal. Who was that? I'm with the gum shoe. Pretty sure. Anyways, uh, detention center at Grossberg Law Offices. He could re he could be back. Oh wait, that might be a uh, gum shoes. So I'm gonna present the uh, the phone. Hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh say, can I listen to my sister's voice? Sure. Go ahead. Maya's eyes closed. She listened to everyone with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. <sighs> Thank you. Okay, cool. So I think I might want to go back to, uh... Gumshoe. We're gonna talk about... Mia first. About Miss Faye. Do you have an autopsy? Mm hmm. You want to know the results, eh? Now, don't look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright, you can see the report, but that's all. Mia's autopsy report. Time of death, on the 5th of September at 9pm. Cause of death. With a single blunt, single blunt force trauma. Death was instantaneous. Let's, now let's talk about Maya. Um, but about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that, child. Sorry, pal. This is one trial you aren't going to win. Well, why do you say that? The city put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth? I'm sure you know what that means. You're being a lawyer and all. I guess I asked all the questions I need to. You're all done, pal? Um, yes. Thank you, I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. Quite more thing I wanted to mention to you. 
I don't suppose you're planning on talking to any or that witness. Anyway, you'd better not. No influencing the witness with your lordly ways, pal. Gotta think of it, I had completely forgotten about it. Well, I did too. I fell asleep after recording the last one. <laughs> the witness? Yeah, Miss April May. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. But you just told me her name, Miss May, huh? So you sent her home already, then? <laughs> you're trying. You're trying your lordly tricks on me now. She's not to go outside her room until the job. So she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know then to get to try to get a detective to leak information. Go that right, pal. Time to take a visit to Edgeworth. Let's talk about my or Maya. Edgeworth? Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait. You do know him, don't you? Of course not. Never heard of him. Whoa! And you call yourself a lawyer, pal? About four years ago, this Edgeworth guy became a prosecutor at the age of 20. Everyone's saying he's a genius. I probably don't know him. Of course I know him. I was just plain dumb. He's a cold, heartless machine who will do anything to get a guilty verdict. There are rumors of back alley deals and forced evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an, an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Let's see what happens, um... If I hit- of course I do. What's the dialogue, the dialogue there? I know him. He won't stop until he gets guilty verdicts. Oh, uh, don't talk about him that way. You should make him bare. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So Edward is on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became a prosecutor at the incredible young age of 20. Of course, there were rumors of back alley deals, forged evidence. Only know for sure is that Edward hits crime with him. Yeah. I should not waste time here. Uh, we're gonna move. We can move to the Gatewater Hotel, but first I'm gonna go to the Grossberg Law Office. Okay, that was completely pointless. Let's go back to the Gatewater Hotel. September 6th. Oh, I didn't get to read it. Well, oh, uh, no. <laughs> um, hi. Smooth. Right. Real smooth. <laughs> You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. Tee hee. I'm with herself. Thank you, Tepta Gumshoe, for making my job harder. Gee, this is almost like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting, I can hardly contain myself. Ooh, let me go fresh now so I can look the part of them. I can't speak today. I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. That'll be you. So there's wine bottles here. The late summer sunlight streams through the window. There are the Fanko Law Office's building, of course. We could see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize a face from this distance, though. That might be evidence. There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey, hey, what are you doing? No touching. Ooh, bad boy. <laughs> you really shouldn't fire around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want me to want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. Yeah, you think, right? I wonder what could be inside that drawer. Maybe uh, the murder weapon? Well, we're going to continue to examine. Let's talk about the plant next. The flowers are fake, as expected. I know sunflowers and tulips, but... That's about the extent of my floral knowledge. What about roses? No clues here. Yeah, I get it. Ah, uh, still scene painting. Wait, should that be still life? Whatever, one of those is hanging on the wall. A bottle and two glasses are on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. Ah, that could be evidence. Bed. A simple bed. 
It's been recently made. Nothing eye-catching here. I mean, why would there be anything eye-catching unless the murder weapon was hiding here? So we're going to talk with the... Uh, May here. What you witnessed? Do you think you can tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the scene of the incident. Ooh, observe incident. You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. Oh, that's like to break down on me. Lovely. <laughs> Vocabulary, that's what she likes. <gasps> um, <clears throat> better not encourage her. Yay. Uh, do you know that thing that occur um, happened the other day? Bad thing. What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it, please. Let me see. Uh, well, Demon, if you want to know, you just have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Boyer. Oh boy. Um, could you just who exactly are you? Ooh, Mr. Lloyd. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> no, hey, I'm just doing my job here. <laughs> Believe me, this is the first time in my life I flash it much. This is funny. <laughs> right, could you just tell me what it is you do? Well, no. He had little hopes up, didn't you? Oh, boy. What about this room? See, there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Ooh, what amazing powers of observ observation. That's funny. What? I can't speak. You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Oh, no, not me. I'm uh, just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go looking for clues in the garbage, hmm? Miss May doesn't like nosy little lawyers. Oh, boy. Okay. Can't wait for court tomorrow. Yay. Is there anything we can present? Okay, so I don't think I could show anything here, but we're going to end this one here. <laughs>